What Happens to William Butcher in The Boys Season 4? The Amazon Prime TV series The Boys have finally completed Season 3 with the best possible climax in Episode 8. There were a lot of twists one could never even have an idea of, and it seems like there's a lot more to come in the story. Before we progress any further, though, beware of spoilers, as we will be unfolding every bit of information from the episodes of Season 3. Episode 8 concludes with two epic fight sequences, but does not change much in the headcount of characters. Black Noir dies in the hands of Homelander after accepting the fact that he had been hiding all information about Soldier Boy from him, but the rest of them remain. William Butcher is suffering from cancer and probably has a few months to live, all thanks to the V24 that he had been injecting himself with to fight Homelander. However, this doesn't change him even a bit, as he tells the doctor to fuck off and start smoking his cigarette, when he, along with the boys, watches the news on Victoria Newman becoming the vice president, he says that she needs to be taken down, signifying that now they are all going to go after Victoria, especially after the season disclosed how ruthless and cunning she could be. Earlier in the season, Victoria threatened Annie, aka Starlight, who is now a member of the boys and is also a threat to Huey. With all information from Season 3, we will predict what events will follow in Season 4 with William Butcher. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The TV series has made quite a number of changes from the comics, like how they elaborated Black Noir's character instead of making him a clone of Homelander like in the comics, and with Soldier Boy. These changes were undoubtedly successful in preserving the undying thrill of this controversial series, and might also be the same with William Butcher. William Butcher in the comics is a cunning CIA agent who is ruthless in killing soups. He hates them from the core of his heart. William grew up within a lot of turmoil and had a troubled childhood with his alcoholic and abusive father. Although the comics had a different set of events, the TV series gave us a glimpse of William's past when he was under the control of the superhero and ex-payback member Mindstorm. The only good phase that William experienced was with his wife Becca, whose life was ruined by Homelander and Vault. Towards the end of the comics, Butcher becomes the worst version of himself and he goes on the mission of killing every superhero on the planet. And this is exactly what he might be doing in Season 4, as now he only has a few months to live. From his final words in Episode 8, it is clear that he will now be going for Vice President Victoria Newman, who is also a soup and has been popping heads in Season 2 and 3. But will she forgive Homelander? Vicky. I'm glad you chose your own kind. To be unbiased, most of the damage caused in Season 3 has been because of William's decision to ally with Soldier Boy, which, in the end, proved catastrophic for him. This might also make him believe that no superhero could be trusted. Going back to the comics, William's wife died after a soup baby tore its way out of her body. The baby was an outcome of Homelander's sexual assault on his wife, about which she had always kept quiet. Unbeknownst to William, it was Black Noir who had raped his wife, and throughout the Comics, he tried to seek ways to take revenge from Homelander. Later, when Black Noir's true identity was revealed, he cracked open Black Noir's skull with a crowbar. After killing the superhero who raped his wife, Butcher felt worse and decided to wipe off every single superhero from the planet in the hopes of never letting any of them hurt innocents. This also might be the similar case for William Butcher in the TV series. Although it's hard making predictions for the TV series, William's traits cannot be overlooked. He is vindictive and a damaged man. He lost Becca and also failed to keep his promise of taking care of Ryan, and this might trigger him to start purging the planet of superheroes. William dies in the comics, and so will he in the TV series, leaving us with the question, what will he be doing in his final days? Especially when he is aware of his terminal illness. When someone is aware of their soon-to-arrive death, he or she will definitely move towards completing the tasks that are left to be done, and for William, it is undoubtedly killing Homelander. Earlier, with the Temp V in his blood, he still seemed to have a chance, but now that is not possible that he will be doing the same thing he did in the comics. 
In the comics, he developed a bomb with the help of Vogelbaum, which would create a cloud of explosive compound feed strain capable of killing millions of superheroes if dialed to a particular frequency. This was, however, after the death of Homelander and Black Noir in the comics, but in the TV series, he might as well do it for Homelander and other powerful superheroes like Victoria Newman. Ryan has taken sides with Homelander and might be a problem for William as he has a weak spot for him. In the comics, William Butcher killed the baby born out of Becca, and he might also end up killing Ryan in the TV series, which might make his depression more complicated than ever. This has been the best part about the series, as it portrayed several shades of darkness in literally every character. Throughout the series, William had often been compared to his heartless father, which did get him upset, as he hated him and blamed him for the death of his brother Lenny. But despite his hatred, he still carried a few of his traits in him. He can be ruthless and can compromise any one's life for his mission and motives, which gives us a stronger hint that he might not stop himself from killing Ryan in season 4. William's character is second best in the series after Homelander, and all these predictions do have a significant chance of happening in season 4. In all cases, waiting for season 4 is going to be tough, as the boys have surely changed the scenario for superhero movies, and it's a hit in a period where every other comic book adaptation has started traveling the multiverse. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.